Hello, citizens of the planet. Welcome back to Monday Musings with Larry Lelly. And this week I was reminded of a story, uh, something that happened to me years and years ago uh, by a student that I was uh, giving a coaching session to this past week. I do that a lot. We'll get together with uh, young aspiring professionals or students who are interested in Broadway or playing on Broadway, um, you know, wanting to learn more about it, that kind of thing. So I'm having this coaching session and the student says, Mr. Lelly. Um, and then I said, please call me Larry. And they said, Mr. Lelly, why is it uh, in the music that you play that exact same drum fill just like that every night? Exactly the same. Why don't you ever play something different? And I said, well, grasshopper, interesting. You should ask that. Um, it usually corresponds with something very specific happening in the show. Oftentimes it's the choreography on stage. The dancers are doing a certain move and that drum part was written just that specific way to accentuate their choreography. Um, what I've also learned is that the orchestra can start to depend on hearing that certain part in the exact same way night after night and they come to rely on that. I didn't think about any of this though when I was a young whippersnapper many, many years ago and decided to do just that. I thought, oh, I'm going to play something really cool. I'm going to mix it up and keep it fresh here. So I was in playing a show and played something that I shouldn't have played <laughs> where they were all expecting to hear another thing. And the conductor looks at me like, what are you doing? And I learned later that the dancers weren't too happy with what I did. And what I learned in that very moment was that the orchestra was also kind of counting on hearing that and they didn't know what suddenly happened and got lost for a bar or two. So I'm sitting there thinking I just really made a, an awful mistake, which I did. I made a, it was a rookie move. Um, but the conductor luckily had a great sense of humor and talked to me afterward and, and you know, said, this is why you never do that again. But in the moment, after that happened in the pit, he passed me this note, which I will forever cherish. And luckily he had a great sense of humor. And I will share this note with you now. It says, when good fills go bad, the Larry Lally story by Larry Lally. <laughs> luckily I had a very, a very understanding conductor willing to teach me the lesson and not kill me. And so now I pass along this lesson to as many people as I can. Uh, so they don't make the same mistake that I did. Um, so that's my story for this week. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week.